Hello everybody. I just want to welcome all of you to our June, I can't believe we're in June already, our June Deal Clinic Live. So welcome everyone. Um, we have with us so far, let me just have a look at who's who we've got attending so far. We've got, oh my goodness, so many joining. Sherelle, I hope I've said your name correctly. Ching, Chris, Joe, Nivik, Ognen, I hope I've pronounced your name properly. Oksana, Romana, uh, Sharon, and Tim so far. Thank you so much for joining. There's so many more coming through as I speak. So um, welcome to all the investors who are here live with us right now. Um, and also to any that join us for the replay. I really do value your time. And so very grateful for you sharing this space with us. There will be snippets of um, today's Deal Clinic Live going out to our other platforms such as YouTube and um, Facebook. So feel free to comment on any of those things. If you have any questions, please do, hi Kim, please do put your comments in the chat box or the Q&A and I will check on those um, at regular intervals and pass those across to our sourcing agents today. If you're watching on the replay, feel free to email us at admin at sourcinginvestments.co.uk and we will answer any questions there. Or alternatively, I will be showing you how to contact the agents that are here today. So feel free to direct those questions to the relevant agent using hashtag DCL, which is abbreviation for Deal Clinic Live. Okay, so I encourage interaction um, with everyone. Uh, it really helps you get to know the agents and helps build trust as well as uh, nurture relationships. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the chat box or the Q&A and I'll keep an eye on those. For those investors who are with us today and have not yet registered to the platform, I will be adding the link into the chat box. Keep your eye out for that. It's sourcinginvestments.co.uk forward slash investor dash registration. Okay, so without further ado, I'm so excited to introduce you to our presenters today. They're two relatively new agencies that have joined the platform and they have amazing projects already on the platform here with us. We have David Giraldo of Macaldo Service Limited. Hi, David. And we have a family run business and we have with us from there, Matt, Sam and Ryan of SJ Property Developments Limited. And obviously myself, Bonnie from Sourcing Investments, your host. Okay, so without further ado, oh, we have more people. So Azar, Barry, welcome, welcome, welcome. So without further ado, I'm going to do a short brief with regards to David. David will be presenting first. So David is a qualified lawyer who educated himself in how to invest in the UK property industry himself. And since the first lockdown in 2020, he's been a UK based agent, uh, fully focused on helping people find property investments in this country. And has actually worked with over 30 investors, including overseas clients, to so in good hands um, with property transactions worth over three million pounds. Now, primarily covers Liverpool and Northwest of England. Today's opportunities he'll be presenting will be in Preston and Hull. There are different strategies across these locations with turnkey opportunities, buy to lets, multi lets, HMOs, and he's direct to vendor, which is really, really key. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen and show you a short bio with David of what he is able to deliver. Okay, bear with me. Hi guys, my name is uh, David Giraldo. I'm one of the sources helping you to acquire your properties in, in this platform. I'm a lawyer, that's my background. I came to the UK uh, over 10, 10 years ago to do a master's degree in international law. My, my life changed a bit and I decided to become a property investor um, and a sourcer now. That's one of my business. I have a, a portfolio, not just in the UK, but also overseas. So I kind of know a little bit what is it that you are looking for as well. Last year, uh, we sold a, over 3 million, uh, almost 3 million worth in properties. So we help uh, quite a few investors just like you to achieve their goals and to buy the properties that we're looking for. In fact, my speciality is in, to work with these investors who are overseas, uh, buying and looking for properties in, in, in the UK. 
so we can provide uh, all the services, all the all they need to to achieve those goals. So we can provide not just the, the find the property, but also helping them with it. If with the broker, if they need one, with solicitors, if they need one, uh, to all the way to you know like do the survey, but also explain the survey when people need something that's not clear to understand the survey. Uh, we can get quotes from uh, builders. Uh, well, when when the when the property needs some something so uh, after the survey so we can do that as well we can help with the quotes uh, the, with the refurbishment as well if you need it and and letting agents and so it's pretty much a, a turnkey service where we would like to, to provide and we have we have done it uh, our our uh, our areas where we specialize in, uh, mostly the, the north of the country liverpool manchester leeds sheffield uh, but also in london not London and we have already a network in, you know, of people in, in those places. So I hope I, am, I can see you guys in the future and, and I'm looking forward to work with you. All the rest. Okay, beautiful. David, I'd love to hand over to you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bonnie. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Thank Hi, you. Hi, guys. Hi, everybody. Um, I have a bit of a presentation here to recap about myself. It's nice to be here. Uh, my name is David Giraldo. I'm a property sourcer, um, and I, my company is uh, Macaldo Services. As it says in the presentation, can you see my screen, Bonnie? Yes, yeah, I can. Thank you okay. so much. So it's a, a little bit about me. As, uh, as I say in the presentation, I'm a lawyer. That's my background. I, I came to the UK to do a, a master's degree in, in international law. And after a few years, I decided to stay. Uh, so I, I started, you know, I have a portfolio here in the UK, but also overseas. Um, and I decided to, to educate myself, to understand a bit more about the, the, how the UK uh, property market works. So I went to on the year long uh, mastermind with Simon Suchi, which is one of the most recognized um, programs in the UK. I did that back in 2018 while I was living in Brussels. I, I then I then moved uh, to the UK to live again uh, in the UK. I did a, a training with one of the um, best um, teachers in, in terms of sourcing and finding uh, deals and be professional. Uh, who is a uh, Walter Pontes, and I and I've been a top performer with him. Last year, I sold uh, over three million uh, worth in property, so I know more or less what I'm doing. Um, in my, my business, uh, I work for you guys. Uh, the investors are my clients, not the sellers. And I would like to to believe that I, I our core values are you know to, to provide a reliable service, to be professional, and to and to act with integrity. That's that's key for us. It's a our purpose is to stay in this business for a long run, not just for one deal. I, I have specialized in working uh, with overseas investors. Um, I don't know if it is because that's, that's me uh, acting from, you know, been in many different countries uh, across, you know, over my life. I, uh, so, so I know that it's important to, to, to offer a service, to be the person that puts on the ground for, for investors. And I, and I have been providing uh, hands-on invest, investments so for those investors. So they need, need someone who they can trust. When you are overseas, you need someone who you can rely on. Uh, and, I, and I have been providing that service, not just finding the property, but helping with the surveys, understand, understanding the surveys, uh, helping with solicitors, with mortgage brokers, with uh, letting agents, with builders, if, if uh, the property needs any type of refurb. Uh, so you, you guys, if you need to, you, you can have access to my team, uh, surveyors, builders, etc. Uh, if you want to connect with me, this is me in, in, in LinkedIn. Uh, there is a football player I understand that uh, has, has the same nom, name, so that's not me. I'm the, I'm the broker. If you type David Giraldo, that's me. That's how you're fine. And this is my email if you want to contact me. Um, I'm now going to share my um, the two properties that um, I have available. So I'm going to I'm going to talk about them. This is the this is the site. This is a one house in in Preston. It's a it's a five bedroom house, but in reality it has been uh, 
converted into five separate units. Uh, this property is, uh, this deal is off market. Let me see if I can go through the pictures. This deal is off market. Um, the asking price is 320,000 uh, pounds. And the, the, it is a, um, a listed property, right? To listed property. It is an end of terrace. Um, it's a leasehold uh, with more than 800 years uh, remaining in the lease. The, the seller invested uh, like 10 grounds recently on the property and he updated all the electricity, has new consumer units, the fire alarms have been uh, installed again um, and it's is, is ready to rent out. The property is empty because he's tired, he's retiring now. So there is just one of the of the flats that is uh, is being is being occupied at the moment. All of the of the five units have separate rooms, separate kitchen, separate separate lounge, and separate um, bathrooms. So all of them uh, separate. Potentially, you could uh, consider doing a title split here, so you will have five separate units, uh, not just not just one house, but set five separate uh, units. Uh, let me see. There is one comparable here, which is. Um, when I put three in the, you can, you can see, but uh, there is just one that is really a similar property, although it is a smaller. It is a smaller and needs more works than this one. This one is pretty much ready to go, as I said. Um, the basement, the cellar can be turned, can be used as, a, as, a, as another flat. At the moment, he, he hasn't done that, but it has windows, so, and it's a big one, it's a big cellar. So you could uh, do the works necessary to, you know, to use it maybe integrated to, to the ground floor or, 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 or one floor. But there is that, um, it has the potential to add value basically, this property. The, the only works that it needs, if all the, floor, the, the flats are ready to go, apart from the attic one, the, it may need a, a new kitchen and a, and a new carpet, but that, apart from that, that's it. This is the property. Let me see, the asking price is yeah, 320,000 pounds. The rent uh, that it can achieve is, um, 2,385 per calendar month, which is over uh, 28 grand uh, per year. Uh, it has two, uh, two parking spaces, and that's it pretty much. This is, that's it about this, this property. It's a great deal, as you can see, the gross yield could be almost 9%, would be almost 9%. Mm, and let me show you the other one, which is, uh, David, David apolo apologies, David, before you move on to the other one, we have a question that's come in with regards to your first property, if that's OK. Um, we have a question from Mark. Mark would like to know what the floor area is of each of the five units. Do we have a, a, a GIA uh, square footage at all? I don't have it. At, uh, 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 no, I don't have it here. I'm sorry. OK, that's fine. So, Mark, if you would like to have that information, please do feel free to contact David through the platform uh, using hashtag DCL so that we know where you've come from. And if you ask David that information, he'll definitely be able to get that for you. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't have that 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 info. Um, the I have these floor plans, but I don't have the I don't have the um, the information. All the all the as I said, all the units have separate lounges, lounges, kitchens, bathrooms, bedrooms, all of them. So they are they are not as small, but I don't have the exact area. With no, that's perfect. Sorry, that's absolutely that. fine. That's absolutely fine. So Mark, feel free to reach out to uh, David after the event. Thank Please. So anyway, much. I'm going to make a note here, and I'm going to. I'm, I may. I will look for that, and I will update the, the post, and I will add that information after after the meeting. But but yeah, if you if you want, Mark, please remind me. Send me that. That's perfect. Thank now you. Let, David. Let's see the. Let's open the the, the this house in Hull. This is a, a four bedrooms um, four bedrooms HMO in Hull. It's fully tenanted, fully recently refurbished. Um, and the seller, the seller is, is uh, basically he's he's selling it as it is with the with the agent. It is an agent who has the AST, and that agent rents the property to Filipino nurses who come to stay for a year uh, to work with, at the hospital, which is uh, 15, 20 minutes uh, walking distance from the property. Uh, all the furniture is included. And, uh, and, the, and that agent wants to carry on um, renting the property from you. Basically, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's going to be 
So you are going to buy a, a property that is making money already. Um, as I say, it's been recently renovated, so it's, it's just like that. The property is in great condition. Um, it has uh, all the, look, the fire doors, for example, you can see here. So it, it, it has all the necessary requirements to comply as a HMO. It doesn't have a, a license because it doesn't need it because it's just four people and that's how a whole works. Uh, and it doesn't need uh, any planning. The rent on this one is uh, 1,343 pounds per month. And so that means uh, over 16,000 pounds a year. Uh, the, the yield is almost 13% and they are rights over 30%. Uh, I think that's it about this one. Uh, are there any questions Bonnie, about on, on this one? No questions about this one have come through yet, but I okay. do have some questions if you don't mind. Uh, David. Um, so, you know, bearing in mind that we'll have a variety of investors who may yeah. be starting out on their journey and then yeah. some very well seasoned ones. Can you explain to those who may be starting out uh, the value of a turnkey property, please? This is, a, I mean, it is a great opportunity to, to start with. I mean, some people think that um, it, there, are, there are multiple strategies. In property, of course, everybody knows you can buy a property, renovate it, and and then rent it, and and try to refurbish, refinance. Uh, that could be a bit risky because you need to know uh, not just the right builder and the right team to do that, but or, or the market. Uh, but it, so you need to know there are many factors that you will need to consider. It's not as simple as just buying a property that needs work. Uh, this property is ready to go. It's, it's already making money. So oh. if you go and see the comparables that are in this property, there are, there are none, there are no, there is no one single property that is similar to this one. There are some four, be four, four bed uh, houses that are cheaper, but this property is already making money. So somehow you are buying a, a, a business. It's, it's, you, you can, whoever buys this property is, has the certainty that how, how much is coming back to their pockets. That is the difference, in my opinion. It's not to start with when you are when you are just starting on the on, on property. One option is to go for the safest option rather than uh, uh, rather than get into more complicated strategies. Is how I would say. Perfect. Clear? So it, it, it is really for the for the investor that may have a very low risk profile for those who uh, have have quite an adverse uh, response to high risk this would be something perfect for them 100 percent. or with no access to teams to builders we uh, people who may not have time to do the renovations uh, people who may not be in the country and just want to put the money in a in a safe place and just get the money back i mean start, start making money from day one so that's, that's this is a perfect strategy for people like this Beautiful. As you're describing, it sounds like a it sounds like a beautiful cash machine, David. Well, it is clear, right? It means you can see the numbers and the and the as I said, the the company rent, renting this property is happy renting it because because there are they have that contract with Filipino nurses nurses coming to work at the hospital, so they are always going to be renting it because okay. the nurses are not going anywhere. The hospital is not going anywhere. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. I have some questions that have come through here. We have um, a question from Azar. Do you have any example of properties in London? Uh, do you mean that I have sold before? Um, Azar, do you, do you mean previous or any examples or potential properties that you would like to invest in? If you could just make that clear, I'll pass that on to David. Um, in the interim, I've, have, I've got a question from Helen. Welcome, Helen. Helen's asked, what is the estimated monthly net profit? On this one, um, I think the numbers are here, no? Uh, in, in the website. There it is. The, the, you can see them. It's 10% more, more or less if you, uh, for the, it's the company. There you go, it's here. Uh, the rental. Income estimated is uh, 1,343. The bills are 380. Uh -huh. and, uh, so it's, a, it's, a, it's around a grand per month. 
Yeah, it's just by the by the looks of that, and then with the ten percent letting aid uh, letting fees, uh, Helen, I would say it's uh, just I safely say it's about nine hundred pounds cash flow easily. Yeah, after those bills come in, because David's got the figures there that it's I can't see that because it's so small on my screen, but three hundred and eighty I think it looks like yeah. for um, the, bills, the bills, and then uh, and then the ten percent for the lettings. Uh, management so, so I hope that answers your question feel free to let me know if you need any more information alternatively I will be um, adding David's link in again to the chat box feel free to contact David uh, using yeah. the hashtag DCL and ask David directly and he'll be able to get you any further information that you also need um thank you for that David the Azar has come back with a question so based on the example of properties in London he said pref preferably HMOs um and yes previous examples uh so i think that would be something um as are that you would need to speak with david about if you contact him via his uh, url let me just add that in now um here that's david's link to his landing page on the platform feel free uh, ladies and gentlemen to contact david and ask any further questions that you have with regards to uh, the properties that he's showing or any other opportunities that you may be looking to um, invest in with David. Yep. The um, the other question that I wanted to ask David, if you don't mind, is that, you know, with the overseas investors, and I think about this myself when investing, you know, if I was to invest in the US or Australia or, or Hong Kong, as an example, I really wouldn't know about the smaller areas. So you're talking about Preston and Hull today, which which may be not as well known as the bigger cities that you you look at, i.e. Yeah. Liverpool, Manchester, London, for example. What's the rental demand like in these areas? And are they are they safe environments to when I say safe, is it a safe, is it a healthy space to invest in? Great question, thank you. Um, well, Preston is the capital of uh, Lan Lancashire, which is one of the, is, is a big, is a big area in, in the UK, and uh, it has a big university, has very important companies in the area in, in, that provide lots of jobs. So it's a very popular city, even, even though it is not as, as, I mean, everybody wants to invest today in, in Liverpool and in Manchester or in Birmingham, but, but Preston is, it's a safe, it's a safe city. This, for example, this property is right in the center, it's walking distance to the to the uh, main station. So definitely, definitely a great area to invest uh, and not as overpriced as other cities in, in the country. Hall, uh, there is going to be, uh, there are plans to uh, build one of those uh, big um, <clears throat> ports to renovate the port, but it's going to be, I forgot the name of that. Uh, Free free trade area, I think it is the name of that. I mean, these are so it's, it's, it, there are plans to turn Hall into a big, huge um, port in one of the most important uh, ports in the world. So, right. so it's creating lots of jobs in that in that in that city. I don't, I don't know. Okay, amazing. Lots of jobs. So so definitely, it is, again, you know, as overpriced as other cities in the country, and uh, still is a good a good area to invest. Yes. Okay, beautiful. Thank you for that. Oh, getting some feedback on your thing. Okay, and then generally speaking, what causes delays on transactions? And is there anything that you would be able to adv advise a, a client, a potential client or an investor to help make that journey smoother? Oh, absolutely. I mean, everybody wanted to invest. Um, if, if, even if you are in the country, but if you are overseas, wherever you are, you you want to make sure you do you you go through the anti money laundry process because that's going to so if you talk to a solicitor who is going to represent you, so they can do the the anti money laundry, uh, certify your your ID, your proof of address, your uh, funds as well, and if you need a, a mortgage, talk to a, a broker so you have a decision in principle in place because uh, because that's going to delay. Mm -hmm. so if, you don't have, if you don't have the funds ready, there is there is no much point of getting into you know asking for properties yet. So I, I will advise you guys to uh, get your money ready, get your um, register with a solicitor, talk about the fees, uh, make sure you have uh, all the the documentation ready, uh, the funds ready, and then and then and then it should be very smooth as if the transaction for them because once we make the offer and we uh, secure the deal. It, it, we are going to be basically in the hands of, of the solicitor. So you, all you need to do is at the beginning of pre 
pre making the offer. That's how I would say. Yeah, I love that. It's um, it's very similar to if you wanted to buy a car, you'd you'd make sure that you have the necessary funds available. <laughs> you don't agree to buy the car and then think I haven't got the money. And the, the, the UK is now very strict. If you allow me something else, but the, the UK is now very strict about uh, anti money laundering. So we all, everybody, all the parties um, involved in transactions, in property transactions, we all need to do uh, anti money laundering checks. So it's better to do that to do the screening before getting into the into the in, involved in any transaction. So you are clear and everybody's ready to go. Yeah. yeah. And, and thank you for mentioning that. It's really key because um, it has been, but it's heightened up uh, the policies. Um, but we have a beautiful product on the platform called the Compliance Vault, which, ha which actually helps our agents go through that process along with our investors as well. Um, so that is something that we have acknowledged and we're looking at helping both sides of the, of the deal with. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, I just got I've just got an answer, a question come through from Kim. Thank you, Kim. She says, I can see that Cloud Property are advertising on your details. I understand they will lend only if there is potential uplift in the value. Will they lend the deposit and fees? Well, Kim, that's something that you would need to um, ask property, Cloud Property specifically. If you do register to the platform as an investor, they'll be able to help uh, you out with that because they do look at every case as an individual uh, situation rather than a sweeping blanket. So feel free to register to the platform. I have already added in the investor URL link to join, but I will add that again for you. Um, so apologies that I can't answer that, but that it is because they look at everybody on an individual basis. Um, I hope that helps. Uh, and I'd be happy if you want to send me an email, you can do so. Uh, my email address is bonnie at sourcinginvestments.co.uk or you can contact us at admin, which is admin at sourcinginvestments.co.uk. Okay, beautiful. Thank you for that. Okay, so um, GB Law, All, I hope I've said your name correctly, has said, I'd like to contact David for a further discussion, hashtag DCL. Thank you for using the hashtag there, um, GB. I will add in the URL. Let me just add in the URL uh, for the investors so that you can register to the um, sourcing investments land, uh, websites. And then from there, you'll be able to contact David. So feel free, here is the investor registration link. If you click on the link, you'll be able to register to the platform and then you'll be able to see David's link just above. And you'll be able to click on David's link and contact him. Towards the end of the uh, event, I will be showing all of you how to get in touch with both David and uh, the family run business SJC uh, so that you can have any questions answered directly with them that you may not be able to fit in here. Okay, David, thank you so much. Uh, you. Really appreciate your time with that. Uh, so now I'm going to talk about uh, SJC. Um, so SJC are a, uh, it comprises of Sam, Matt and Ryan, as I mentioned before. So SJC Property Developments are a UK based agency. And as I mentioned already, they recently joined well established family run business with more than 40 years experience. Um, that, that, that doesn't look like them there. <laughs> they're very young faced uh, but they have got 40 years experience within the family business and they've got some great opportunities already on the platform now predominantly they operate in cambridgeshire with various strategies such as buy to let multi lets and hmos as well as commercial mixed use flips and developments um, other services that they offer include lettings buildings and maintenance so I'm now going to play their video so that you can see uh, exactly the level of um, work and uh, quality that they're able to deliver. Okay, I'm just going to share my screen. Hello and welcome to SJC Property Developments. We are here in the heart of Cambridge where we invest and source for other property investors. We would like to showcase you this beautiful city and all it has to offer and why Cambridge is such a great place to invest. Cambridge is a city famed for its rich history and exceptional education due to it being home to one of the most famous universities in the world. 
attracting over 24,000 students globally each year. At the heart of Cambridge is the world-renowned Addenbrooke's Hospital and Biomedical Campus, being the hub of science and technology in Europe, hosting international corporations' headquarters such as AstraZeneca and GSK, bringing in millions of pounds of investment into the area each year. The railway station offers links directly to London, as well as Stansted Airport and all major cities. Station Road hosts multiple international businesses such as Apple, Microsoft and Amazon, just to name a few. We believe that Cambridge and the surrounding area is a fantastic location to invest due to the many markets opportunities and its large population of students, scientists, technological professionals and key workers such as doctors and nurses. Cambridge is also known for its tourism, offering a wide range of shops, restaurants, markets, museums and of course punting. We believe the best postcodes to invest in Cambridge are CB1 and CB4. However, these are not exclusive as there are fantastic deals throughout the county, as you can see with our six bed HMO based in one of the surrounding villages. Take a look at our amazing transformation. Okay, so that was a, a lovely uh, video short with regards to Sam, Matt and Ryan at SJC Property Developments. Gentlemen, I'd love to hand over to you if that's okay. I'll just pop this on. Hi guys, hope you're doing well today. So, so welcome to SJC Property Developments. I just want to tell you a little bit about the company. So we have two companies, we have SJC Property Developments, where we do our own developments and sourcing company, and we also have SJC Building Services. So I know you think we're all very young, but we have a massive 40-year uh, line of history behind us, and we've been in, involved in property for many, many years, having a large portfolio, selling it, uh, and also helping other people achieve their property dreams as well. Uh, recently, I was on Mastermind, like David, and also achieved top performer in both Mastermind and Volta Pontes Deal Generator course. And currently we're on Property Entrepreneur. So I'll be able to help you systemize your businesses as well as be able to offer you fantastic deals. So I just want to tell you a little bit about all of us now. So hi guys, my name is Matt Carter and I'm the Property Development Manager here at SJC. A little bit about myself is in my spare time, I love to travel and explore as much as possible. And my name is Sam Carter and I'm director of SJC and in my spare time I love cycling and playing football with my friends. And I'm Ryan, I'm the business development manager here at SJC um, and I love working out in the gym in the morning to get me ready for the next day ahead. So here at SJC we have three main core values. Our first main core value is communication. Uh, we ensure we communicate with you, our investors, at every stage, smoothly guiding you through your investment journey and keeping you up to date at all times. Building on communication comes trust, which is our second core value, and this is something that we value highly here at SJC. Relationships are built upon trust, and we want to build relationships with our investors for many, many years to come. And finally, our third core value is integrity. All the deals that we provide you with are deals that we would want to develop ourselves. As Sam said, our sister company, SJC Building Services, is absolutely thriving uh, with our deals. And we want to share these deals for you so you don't miss out on these amazing deals. So what do we source? Let's start with our HMOs. We can source uh, HMOs, five bed plus HMOs, in and around central Cambridge and also the surrounding villages. Uh, as you can see, that one on the left is our own deal. Secondly, we can do buy-to-lets, so two to five bedroom buy-to-let properties, um, housing USA, 
Air Force staff and RAF uh, military personnel, which we'll go into in more detail in a minute. And also, this is another deal that we have done ourselves, which was a commercial to residential opportunity. This one was an old uh, commercial warehouse. It was actually an old wine storage. Um, <laughs> and we developed it into a three-storey um, property, townhouse with gorgeous zinc cladding finish and also a garden roof terrace. As I'm sure you can see um, from the high end, it was very, very popular. So here at SGC, we focus on three main areas. So Cambridge city centre as a whole, the villages surrounding Cambridge and the areas surrounding, as Sam said, the United States Air Force and Royal Air Force bases in Suffolk. Uh, obviously, although these are our main three areas that we look to invest in and help investors invest in, these are not exclusive and we do help investors source deals across the UK with the use of our extensive network and a high level of knowledge. So why invest in Cambridge? Well, there are a number of different strategies that can be um, used in Cambridge, and that is for one, as Cambridge is the hub of biomedical science in Europe. Uh, two, Cambridge is home to thousands of national and international students, which attend one of the 31 colleges which make up the very famous Cambridge University. Uh, three, Cambridge is home to the world-renowned Addenbrooke's Hospital and Patbrook Hospital, which employ over 10,000 staff. Number four is Cambridge. Um, lots of large corporations have their headquarters here, as we mentioned earlier, AstraZeneca, Apple, GSK, Arm. It attracts, yeah, as I say, millions of investments and companies each year. Um, and five, tourism. Cambridge has thousands of tourists each year for its beautiful architecture, history and punting, of course. <laughs> so this means that different strategies can be implemented here, such as um, buy to lets, HMOs for students or working professionals. Um, Flips are again service accommodation either for tourists or for scientists, tech, yeah, technology professionals. So yeah, there's a wide variety of uh, strategies here. Okay, so that moved us on to the surrounding areas and there's many ideal villages to which uh, we'd invest in ourselves, which we do invest in ourselves and which we can source for you guys. So they are Sawston, Impington, Histon and Milton. So why would we source in the surrounding villages? Well, Cambridge, as we just heard from Matt, is an ever expanding city and therefore it's pushing on these villages and basically the, the population of Cambridge is getting bigger. Um, and therefore the villages are becoming more desirable, which is great because it means the house prices are going up, which is investors, once we've brought them, is fantastic. And you're going to get large capital appreciation over many, many years of holding. Uh, furthermore, since COVID, we've noticed that some tenants like to have slightly larger bedrooms, a bit more garden space, just so they feel like yeah, a bit more uh, homified, if that's the word. Um, and therefore, that's why we started to invest in these ourselves as a producing some great cash flow and strategies. They're slightly cheaper properties as well, and therefore they yield better. Uh, and also the science sectors uh, and science hubs are expanding into the villages. So you've now got uh, the Sanger Centre, which is a massive corporation. Uh, which actually was the first company to map the DNA in 1972. Um, Arm, which is a huge uh, global international corporation, which I'm sure you heard of, and furthermore, the Babem Institute. Uh, so that's why we invest in these villages. And also they have great links um, to and from the city with many, many bus routes and cycle routes, um, as you'll see from our HR minute, which we provided them all the bike. So as I said earlier, Suffolk borders Cambridgeshire and Norfolk. So Suffolk is home to the largest number of uh, USAF and RAF bases. So the reason we choose Suffolk is because it results in a high rental demand for those relocating from the USA. Uh, the investment opportunities here offer a high cash flow due to the price of the properties in Suffolk being drastically lower than Cambridgeshire, meaning you can purchase a much cheaper property but still charge a higher monthly rent <coughs> due to the base's monthly rental allowance for their military personnel. Um, a massive thing that we like to know about the USAF properties is obviously the long tenancies. The average tenancy is between three to five years. So if you do buy a buy to let in these areas, then you are, you know, you're going to have a tenant for at least three to five years, etc. cetera. Um, when letting properties to military personnel, the military bases will always provide the white goods, except for dishwashers, meaning you save a lot of money when fitting out the property, you know, saving on fridges, freezers, etc. Um, and overall, these buy -to opportunities offer security due to the corporate rental income, high rental demand and long tenancies. Um, 
In regards to all of the locations that we've just explained, we can offer you a free guide um, about the overall areas, more explanations and details about what areas to invest in amongst these areas, and you know the best strategies for these as well. So let us know and contact us after this so we can send them to you. Okay, so now we want to show you our example deal um, in Sawston. So this is Hall Crescent. We bought the property last year in 2021. We've converted it from a four bed family home into a six bed co-living HMO. Now we like to use the term co-living to create that communal feel and desirability towards the property and somewhere where tenants can feel proud of where they live. And I think this has most certainly been achieved as you can see here. Um, we've got mood lighting in the open plan living area, all of the bedrooms are uniquely designed and um, all of the bedroom, bedroom furniture has also been bespokely designed. Um, therefore, it's not just functional, but it's also very aesthetically pleasing. As Sam said, we've also given each of the tenants a bicycle that they can use at their leisure for work, etc. This isn't, you know, as well for them, but also to reduce our carbon, carbon footprint and social impact on the local area too. So now let's get down to the fun bit, the nitty gritty bit, the facts of this property. As I said, we purchased the property last year for £375,000. <coughs> the refurb and legal costs are £129,410. The gross domestic value, so the end worth of the property, is £600,000. We refinanced this at 75% loan to value of the £600,000, pulling out £450,000. The gross rental income is 54,000 per annum, um, or the net rental income a year is around 30,000 after bills, et cetera. The return on investment for the money left in is 53.5%, or for those of you that work on yield, it is 9.25%. So as you can see, this is an amazing deal. And you know, how many of these would you need to replace your income altogether? Perfect. So. This is where we move on to the SJC power team, which we can offer to you and help you guys if you purchase deals for us. So number one, once you've decided you like a property, obviously the first step is to get a mortgage broker involved. So we can offer you a range of different mortgage brokers uh, and they can give you advice and guidance on both residential and commercial opportunities. Um, next, we have our solicitors. We work a number of different solicitors. Um, across the country that we can use to help you uh, well, create a nice smooth pathway and guide your, uh, use your hand to guide you through the process. Uh, that, that's exactly the same with insurance brokers. And then really this is where we come into our own. As mentioned before, we have our own build team and therefore because of that, we've got multiple years of experience and work very, very closely with our planning and architect. So we can offer you their services to you. So if the property does require planning, we can offer you our planning consultant who can talk to you and make sure that you're happy with the design aspect uh, and also how likely it is to get through the planning process. And also we can offer you a range of architects ranging from someone who can help you do a standard extension right the way through to large commercial residential opportunities. Um, and we speak to them on a regular basis. So we have really good close connections with them. And obviously we can help you um, make that relationship too. Just to give you um, sort of uh, a bit of spice of how good our architect is, he's recently developed the, the football stadium uh, for Cambridge City. Um, so yeah, he's absolutely amazing. And uh, yeah, he's our main top architect. So then we move on to the builds team and tradespeople. Um, we have access to a large number of teams and tradespeople in and around the area. Obviously, with 40s experience, we've got loads of different people we can recommend you to. Um, and with our SJC building company, we can also advise you on the build and what we do and how we do it. And in terms of when we quote for the works, obviously, we're quoting and we have a very good idea of what it's going to cost because we do it ourselves. The only reason we're selling these deals is, I'll be honest with you, we've got two years in front of us of our own deals. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we can't take any more on. And that's why we want you to profit from them and benefit from these deals. And lastly, letting agents. We work with a number of different agents um, who are absolutely brilliant and they deal with our own properties and we want to give them services to you. And therefore, once all the deal is set up, um, we can pass them over the details and they can guide you through and make the investment side of it very, very passive, helping you get great tenants and making them long lasting relationships with them and also making it more profitable in the long run for yourself. So just part of the SJC investment journey, obviously, as Sam was saying, we have an amazing team, but obviously one of the main important things for you to know is obviously the journey that you're going to be going on with us. So we always want to ensure our investors have an easy guide to follow and know exactly what is going on during each stage of their investment. 
Um, we have a small amount of information on this slide, which shows you how we can work together during this process. And we can offer you a full free guide explaining each and every step, what happens in each step, how long it roughly takes as well, just so you have a better understanding of how your investment journey is and how it works with us. We work you know, from all stages from sourcing the property and securing the deal, all the way through to organising surveys, helping you review them, building quotes, you know, you name it, we probably do it. Um, so we always want to make sure that you know everything that's going on are pulled through a laid back investment process and that you are offered the highest level of clarity when investing with SJC. So we just wanted to show, showcase to you some of the amazing reviews that we've had from the other clients we've worked with. As you can see, uh, that's what we want to offer, five star service to you guys. Um, so yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about some of the best areas in, to invest in. So for Cambridge in particular, CB one, two, three, four, and five are the best areas. And these are mainly the, uh, the city center. However, these aren't exclusive. As I said earlier, the surrounding areas such as Sawston, where our HMO is, and as Sam mentioned, Impington, Histon and Milton are also great areas. Regarding the RAF bases in Suffolk, the best areas and villages around the bases are Newmarket, Mildenhall, Lakenheath and Brandon. OK, so overall, Cambridge and the surrounding areas are great places to invest. However, we have noticed there are a few places and estates that would avoid in the Cambridge city centre. Uh, they are Arbury, King's Hedges. However, when I say King's Hedges, that is an, a complete area um, not to invest, but there is a King's Hedges road, which is a fantastic road to invest on. So therefore, we just want to make sure we clarify that um, when looking for deals for you guys to make sure that you know um, where we're investing your money. Also, Barnwell isn't a great area to invest. Uh, in terms of the US, the USAF um, deals, um, as long as you're investing with a property which is in a radius of around 10 miles of the USAF basis, they are fantastic deals. Uh, and that's what we've established with our letting agents on the data. So these are three of the live deals that we're going to be showcasing to you shortly. Um, we currently have a number of properties in Cambridge and Suffolk covering both you know, HMOs and buy to lets um two out of three of these properties benefit from no onward chain which is really nice for you to know because you know it's going to be a quick sale everything's going to be done and you can start you know start your journey and project um one property is in need of major refurbishment works the second is in need of light and cosmetic refurbishment a bit of a tidy up and the third property the townhouse you can see the right um, is high end and definitely less full in its current state so let's go ahead and have a little look here we are OK, so this is property number one, and this is in CB1. So as we said, it's a great area to invest. Um, there's large amounts of space due to the two storey extension and large conservatory added on the back of the property. As you can see for the photographs, it is in need of a major refurbishment works, and we've estimated the build cost to be a minimum of £60,000. Uh, this will allow you to convert the four bed family home into a seven bed HMO, therefore allowing you to receive a commercial valuation when refinancing. So basically what it means is, um, just to explain for something that might not know, uh, in the UK, you can go up to a six bed on a HMO license, which means you just need to meet certain criteria and that you'll get given the license as long as you meet that. We can help you with that and guide you through that process. After you've got the six bedroom and you're going for seven bedrooms, you have to apply for planning and go for sui generis. So what we recommend in a property like this is to get it up to six bed, get a HMO license, and then go back in for planning and get the seventh bedroom. There's no reason that bedroom couldn't already be pretty much done, but just not classed as a bedroom, and therefore you'd be able to get it straight away once you've got planning. We can help you through that process though, so please do not worry. Um, this property is currently available for 550000 and we have an estimated fair market value uh, once refurbished and been completed to be around 675000 to £700,000. Uh, we've used um, comparables in the area and also worked with estate agents to get this um, quotation. Um, so we believe it's very, very achievable as we achieved it on our HMO, which is actually further out of the city. So... Um, as you can see, the yield and ROI for this property is extremely high and we're always very conservative with our figures. 
the gross monthly rental income after refurbishments have been completed um, is around about £5,465, which means annually it will be bringing in £65,580. Uh, £65, um, yeah, so what also we provide is what we'd do to the property if we're doing it ourselves um, on the floor plan. So again, just help you and come up with one strategy which you might want to turn the property into. So as you can see from the floor plans here, um, there's a kitchen and dining area, which is quite large. Um, you've got a utility room downstairs and also a garage. So if we flip to how we'd develop the property on floor plan two, we'd convert the garage uh, utilised into a bedroom and also putting in an additional bathroom. The reason we put them back to back like this is it makes it a lot easier when converting because you've already got the uh, amenities there to get the utilities into. So it makes it a lot easier for building and also reduces build costs. Furthermore, you get another bedroom um, down to the bottom left in the dining area and you'd slightly move the kitchen down so that you'd um, be able to get another bedroom in. Um, also, you'd have a lovely long conservatory, which you could use for a socialising area. If you wanted to, you could probably get another bedroom in there. However, we believe giving the tenants um, better value for their money and giving them somewhere to chill and relax and also make that co-working co social area, um, which is one of our, of our main points when creating a property, um, to stand out from the rest of the crowd. So if we move upstairs... Uh, as you can see here, there's three very nice sized bedrooms and then a box room and also a study. So what we'd look to do is convert it into four very decent sized bedrooms with one uh, with two en suites and then one bathroom uh, or shower room. So it means that basically there's only ever going to be a maximum of two tenants to a bathroom. But obviously some have got en suites as well, which is great. And as you can see from the bedroom sizes, they're all really, really good sizes and all meet the HMO regulation standards. And again, we can help you with that. So if you'd like to know more about this deal or and just about Cambridgeshire in general, please do contact us. And I'm going to pass over to Ryan now, who's going to talk you through the USAP deals. Awesome. Before you just go into that, we had a question from Mark. I believe this is directed at yourselves, gents. Uh, what gross yields can we get on buy to let in your area and what sort of price ranges are we looking at for the three to four bed homes? Mark, I hope I've directed that to the, uh, the right agency. Feel free to let me know if that's directed to David. Um, I just thought it may be to um, SJC because of three bed, three to four bed homes that you mentioned. Um, so I'll wait for Mark to confirm that and, and just pass that on again to you gents uh, after you've presented. Thank you. So let's jump to the USAF ones first. Yes, do the USAF yeah. ones first. Thank you so much. And Mark has said yes. <laughs> yes, for you guys to answer that. Do you want to pass it now or...? Yeah, if you can answer it now, that'd be awesome uh, okay. before you go into the USA. So it's literally very, very dependent on the area that you're investing. So that's where we can work with you guys. If you reach out to us, we can sit down, have an initial chat mm -hmm. and talk about budget and what you're expecting in terms of that for uh, essentially returns. Because uh, Cambridge is a very affluent area and therefore property prices are high. However, as you can see, that means also the rents are high and you can get some, some great yields if you can add some value in there. Um, so I would say you're looking minimum. So you're looking at around about 350 all the way up to around 550 um, to purchase however you can then achieve some fantastic returns um, starting from well sort of 550 all the way up to a million um, once you've refurbed the property and we can help you and guide you through that process hope that perfect. helps perfect thank you so much I uh, hope that helps Mark feel free to drop any more questions into the chat box thank you gents thank you um, awesome so now on to our first um property around well it's based in Lake and Heath which is just outside Brandon um it's right next to the RF Lake and Heath uh, military base so it's absolutely perfect for military occupancy um it's up for £185,000 at the moment it offers spacious accommodation and a wonderful outdoor space um as you can see through the photos it's in need of light refurbishment as you can see the bathroom has been recently refurbished um but you know just a general tide you know outside cutting the grass you know that sort of thing um, changes some small fixtures and fittings um, so overall we've you know estimated that cost to be about two thousand five hundred pounds uh, because it really is less in its current state um, the property can be let out for a minimum of a thousand and eighty pounds per month um, the reason for this is because the bases offer their military personnel relocating from the usa a rental allowance and the lowest rental allowance they give is one thousand and eighty pounds 
all the way ranging up to £2,500 for a family. Um, furthermore, if you do choose you know, a five-bedroom property to invest with us with, um, then if it's two people and a family and you know both parents work in the military base, you know that's potentially three to four thousand pounds per month that they can spend on their property. So the properties are much lower, but the rental demand and cash flow is so much higher. Um, this is the floor plan for the property. So I'll just let Sam show you that. As you can see, it's got one large double bedroom and one large single bedroom as well, a nice big lounge, um, separate kitchen and bathroom as well. So yeah, I mean, overall, this type of property offers, like I said, high monthly cash flow, extremely great rental demand. Um, you know, there's thousands of, you know, military occupants coming over every single year. You know, their, their tours range up to seven years long. Um, so, you know, the rental demand is so high, the long tenancies offer secure and protected investments for you as investors. Um, so, yeah. Did you have any questions on that at all? Or should we go on to the next? No questions come through yet, so please carry on and then I've got some questions that I've got formulating. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Um, so this is the second USAF property that we have available. It's a three bedroom townhouse located in Brandon. It's the closest town to the bases. And as you can see, it's a very high end. There's a full master suite with, you know, jacuzzi bath, large shower. And it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, let me just have a look here. Um, as you can see, it's definitely less full in its current state. If you would want to update the property, we would advise just, you know, a new modern kitchen and just some neutral paint colours throughout the property. Um, but other than that, the, you know, the property as a whole is absolutely lovely. The garden space and bedrooms are huge. Um, and the property is currently on the market for £260,000 um, with a £1,300 per calendar month rental valuation. Um, as you can see by the floor plans, you have a large open plan living room, separate garden room, kitchen and utility room, two double bedrooms with a bathroom on the first floor with built in storage. And like I said, a luxury master suite on the top floor with ensuite, jacuzzi and dressing room. Um, as you can see, all the yield and the ROI is very high on these. Um, and, you know, the overall, like I said, security for you as investors for these sorts of properties, the long tenancies, is, it's a no brainer for me personally. Um, so, yeah, that's that's all really. Real. So, yeah. So Questions. if you'd like to know anything more about Cambridge as an area to invest or Suffolk um, or would like to know anything more about us as a company, please do reach out through our links. Um, and, yeah, we'll be more than happy to help. That's that's amazing. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate that. I'm just waiting for questions to come in through for you. Um, I have a few, though, if you don't really mind. Um, can you explain a little bit more about the corporate let? Because obviously there's a vast difference in the price with Cambridgeshire and those homes that you showed in Brandon that the USAF and the um, RAF basis will use. So can you explain a little bit more for those who may not understand corporate let and how that works? Yes, yeah, so the corporate rental income is obviously provided by the bases. So rather than, you know, someone individually paying for their tenancy, the bases actually provide you with the allowance that they'd give to the tenant of, you know, a minimum of, like I said, £1,080, ranging all the way up to two two and a half thousand pounds plus per military person. So corporate letting and rental income is more to do with the basis paying you directly rather than, you know, waiting for tenants to pay you, et cetera. So it's just a lot more secure and it's sort of like going straight to the base rather than, you know, dipping around with tenants, et cetera. And, and just to add on to that, we do also have access potentially to emergency housing, depending on area location. We don't advertise it as such, um, just because it's not our core uh, strategy. However, um, if you do buy a property through us, we can look to allocate you through that. Uh, and with the emergency housing, the, the yields are, are amazing. Um, so it depends if we can achieve that in that area at that time that you purchase the property. So we can look at that for you as well. That's great. Thank you so much. So just to be clear, then with the corporate let the the tenant in effect is um, the American, uh, the American base, the American government, so to speak. Yeah. So a, a solid, a solid client, a solid yeah. tenant, should we say? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And obviously, there's many benefits to that. You're not getting any voids whatsoever mm -hmm. because it's backed by the base. They provide um, all the white goods except for dishwashers. So make sure you remember that. <laughs> um, so, you know, saving on expenses because we all know how much, you know, 
an oven, a washing machine, a tumble dryer, fridge, freezer, and especially, you know, they're huge American fridge freezers. They don't want something tiny, you know, what we might be used to. Um, so, you know, you're saving a lot of money really on, on them, you know, and fitting out the property itself. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you for that. Just wanted to clarify. And then with Cambridge, you know, it's stacked in history, obviously. Um, and as you mentioned, you know, you've got Cambridge University, which is world renowned. How strong is the rental market there? Because you mentioned hospitals, universities and all the, um, you know, all the other industries in your video. Is this a strong market to target the rental properties to as, it, as in the universities and hospitals? Are, are they good key um, clients? Yeah. Demographics? Yeah. Yeah, definitely, without a doubt. Obviously, as I say, you can rent the HMOs out to students or working professionals. So actually, our HMO in Sourceson, it rented out all six bedrooms within a matter of a couple of weeks of putting all bedrooms out. And that was out. over Christmas as well, wasn't it? So. And uh, these are two working professionals either working at the science parks or at Addenbrooke's and Papworth. Um, yeah, more in the city centre, that's where you'd rent out to more your students for Cambridge, whether they be undergraduate or postgraduate. And um, yeah, really any, anywhere the students will sort of stay in the centre and the surrounding villages you'll get any working professionals as the links to Cambridge are just so direct you've got busways cycleways train routes I mean from here or in Shelford perhaps it's literally five minutes and you're in the centre of Cambridge on the train so yeah they rent out very very quickly <laughs> definitely brilliant perfect thank you so much for that and then I think the other thing that I wanted to ask was, you know, in the video that I played, you had this amazing conversion, which was a four bed to a six bed HMO, I believe. And that was a stunning, stunning conversion. I, mean, I would I would like a place uh, to live in somewhere like that when I when I was a student or, or, or even a young professional. But what actually makes for a smoother flip or a conversion? What would you what would you recommend? What would you say is really important to have that be as smooth as possible? Sure. So in terms of um, the process and making sure it goes as smooth as possible, it's really knowing your end goal and what you'd like to achieve and how you'd like it to look. And if you can get that across to the building team, which we can help you with, obviously, then they can go produce it at a rapid rate. Uh, so we actually managed to develop and have that property let within four months. So it was a really quick turnaround. Um, and in terms of flips or uh, refurbing them, what I'd say is, is flips are fantastic. However, with the un potential uncertainty that we're going into, I personally would rather refurb a property and refinance it to 75%, pulling out some of the money, if not all of it. And then you're going to have an asset sitting there for life. And in Cambridge, I mean, you, I don't know if you, the, the, the history of Cambridge and the capital appreciation is absolutely huge. It's one of the most affluent areas in, in the UK. And therefore you're sitting essentially on a, on a gold mine. Mm -hmm. And every few years, then you can just keep refinancing, pull the money back out, and you're going to have no problems letting whatsoever as the rental market around here is mm -hmm. so hot. As we said, adding on to that as well, with the local villages, science companies, tech companies, they're moving into the local villages mm -hmm. now as well. So they are extremely desirable, not to the this centre, but it really is widening out now. So it's a great area to invest in. Perfect. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I'm just checking the chat box. We have a, uh, a few comments and a, and a question, actually. So GB Law, um, I do hope I've pronounced your surname properly, it says thank you and well done, guys. And then Kim says, thanks, guys. Great presentation. Simon will be proud. Um, I, have a, I have a question from Quinta, uh, who says, how long can you keep the property before you find refinance? So you can actually refinance after six months. And that's what we've done with our one. So you can pretty much, if you time it right, buy it, do the refurb. And as soon as it hits six months, if you can complete it in that six months, refurb it literally on our day, day one of that six month process. Brilliant, brilliant. Thank you so much for that. And I, and I, I guess that each, each time you look at an individual deal, you would look at that as to whether that works or not, because it's not maybe a blanket statement for all. Is that correct? Correct. Yes. And that's, again, where we can help. I mean, what the deals we want to try and put to you guys um, are going to be as um, smooth as possible. And therefore, we try not to put the ones that involve planning on mm -hmm. um, just so that you don't have to go at planning. You can just do the building works, the internal works and not need anything mm -hmm. apart from permitted development rights, which is yeah, a given. And it's become easier, hasn't it? Um, I have a question from Kim, actually. She says Lincolnshire has an RAF base and the university and is a lot cheaper. Would you consider this a good area for investing? I mean, we, we don't obviously know much about Lincoln. It's very close to Cambridgeshire. Um, but in, in general, like we said, we're happy to you know help and source deals as and where we can. Yeah. So we'd be more than happy to look into that. If you want to let us know, mm -hmm. contact us, we can set up a chat. Cambridge is growing a lot, well, Cambridge is growing a lot faster and does have a lot more sort of science and tech companies here. 
Um, as I said, it's the hub for biomedical science. So that is why you do get a lot of, well, a lot of scientists actually relocate to Cambridge. Our neighbours mm -hmm. on the road, for example, have relocated here from abroad, other ones from internally, nationally. So it's more, it's, it's growing extremely fast, Cambridge, I'd say. Yeah. Mm. yeah. We could help. Perfect. And I think that's, you know, the fact that Kim's asked that question is really key because this is really why it's so important to have a trusted um, agent in the location that you're looking to invest because they really do. Both David and the gents at SJC today have really um, illustrated how important it is to know the locations that you're looking to invest in because they can steer you to the right street. I know from when I had my agency, it's so different. You could have one side of the street is affluent and generates the income and the other side completely not. And so this is why it's vital to have a strong sourcing agent or agency operating in the location that really knows where you can invest your money and make sure that it is going to yield you well and not have any issues down the road. Um, so Lincolnshire, Kim, I think if you can find an agent, the boys have said that they will happily help you with that. And I think it's really important that you find an, an agent as well that is, has strong connections in Lincolnshire as well so that they can really help you with that. I hope that helps and answers your question. I was going to say, being part of loads of different communities, we have a large network. So if we can't help, we'll know someone who can yeah. in that area. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Sam. And that's so key. As agents, we do we do talk and we do help one another and we do pass deals on. We don't hold on to them. <laughs> There's plenty of pie to go around. <laughs> OK. Um, OK, so Quinta says thank you. Uh, she's interested and would like to know more. So Quinta, I've added the um, the SJC URL link into the chat box. I will add that again for you so that you can contact uh, the boys, Sam, Matt and Ryan um, with any questions that you have. Just use hashtag DCL so they know where you've come from. Um, we have a question from Helen. Uh, CB1 and CB4 properties have been appreciated so much in the past two years. The yield is quite low for buy to let. What is the best strategy in CB1 and CB4? Um, how about SA. And so for those who don't know what SA is, it's an abbreviation for serviced accommodation. Thank you, Helen. Gents? Yeah, de definitely. CB1 and CB4 obviously have gone up with most of the country and the house prices have risen, have risen. And therefore it is now um, quite considerable amounts of uh, cash that you need to use to purchase. However, again, just as you mentioned, SA is a fantastic uh, way to um, make more money and a single buy to let we wouldn't personally be buying single buy to lets in cb1 and cb4 unless you're looking at it from a very very long term perspective and almost as a complete um de-risk strategy because it will let all day long it just won't yield very well whereas service accommodation as matt mentioned there's so many people that do it on a commercial scale or uh, as tourism we used to have uh, two in just down the road in cb5 uh, and again that was throughout covid and we still managed to let them to commercial workers who are actually working on the the guided busways and um, when they're being built um, and they let on long term sort of six weeks to eight week lets so you can really recoup a lot of the money you're initially putting down so it's a fantastic strategy um, so again if you want help with that we've got tenant uh, we've got um, letting agents that do directly just uh, SA and we can put you in contact with them oh that's wonderful thank you so much Helen I hope that helps answer your question perfectly do, do feel free to let me know if you um need any more information on that. Um, I have something come through from Tim. Tim says, my sister works at the RAF base in Lincoln. It's definitely a good area. However, uh, however, it does have the prestige and history. Sorry, I think that means doesn't have the prestige and history of Cambridge. Tim, please correct me if I've, if I've read that wrong. Um, which, yeah, he says doesn't. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. I'll reread this. My sister works at the RAF base in Lincoln. It's definitely a good area. However, it doesn't have the prestige and history of Cambridge, which is incredibly valuable. But yes, it is a nice area. Hope that helps. So I, I believe that may be answering Helen, in fact, potentially. That doesn't even seem like a question, but there we go. The joys of... Um, <laughs> live tv um kim says okay thank you azar says um excellent presentation uh have your contact details if i have any questions perfect thank you so much for that so thank you so much for sorry we've got one thing come through on um the q a box 
So this is a question from Nina. She says, hi, SJC team. Do you know if the Cambridge Council has any plan to expand the Article 4 area? There's no Article 4 in Cambridge whatsoever. And you I don't. personally don't believe they will because the Cambridge universities have so much power and so much say in um, what goes on here. And it would affect them so much if they did bring it <laughs> into place that I don't think they will personally. Okay, fantastic. Thank you so much for that. Um, Okay, I think I think generally, I think you've done. I love the presentations from from both agencies, um, and I really do thank you for your time. I'd love to know if um, David can also unmute himself. What do you love most about what you do? He's going. For, yeah, yeah, you yeah. go for it. Awesome. Um, I think just helping people. I think that's a massive mm -hmm. thing that we like doing. Um, we're never in competition we always want to help people yeah. um offer our services you know we want people to you know grow and you know live life on a passive income and just enjoy life really so yeah that's sort of I'm yeah. enjoy doing it yeah. and it's the best feeling when you can take a rundown property and redevelop it yeah. and then give tenants something they're proud to live in uh, which is also making you income there's no yeah. better feeling than that yeah, I love that. I love that. Thank you so much. And I love in the beginning when you did the presentation, it was basically that you are passing on the deals that because you don't have the capacity to do any more yourself, you've got two but... years worth of work ahead of you. So these deals are really juicy for these investors to to buy into because they are the deals. Um, if you could, you would you would have them yourselves had you not got this workload on. Thousand percent. Yeah, we've got two years in front of us. We're just currently developing a church, uh, which actually we're going to um, run one as a service accommodation unit, um, and we've got multiple other projects. We're, we run about six at a time. Yeah. So um, look so yeah. out for us as well. We're actually being filmed on uh, Homes Under the Hammer for that yeah. one. So you might see us on uh, BBC One later on in the year. Okay, amazing, amazing. Thank you so much for that. Really appreciate that, David. What about yourself? What do you love most about what you do? Because you're very passionate about what you do as well. It is exactly the same. It is very um, the satisfaction of uh, you know finding the property that the investors are looking for and, and getting the yield and the, meeting the criteria they need and they want to. It's, it's a very nice. Um, it's, it's actually helping people to achieve their goals. That's, that's for me, is great. Yeah, and I think you know from a from a from a reciprocity. You know, I deal with the laws of the universe from a reciprocity perspective. When we give because we love to give, the universe gifts us back so beautifully, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And and what have you, how have you found working with uh, the team here at SI, at Sourcing Investments? It's uh, very professional. You guys are very professional. I love that because um, before we can work with you, we have to uh, be compliant, which means, uh, uh, as the word says, comply with the with the all the legal requirements for us to to do what we do and to prove that we are professionals, and that's and that's great. That's uh, that gives uh, the investors a guarantee guarantee that they are in good hands. So yeah. I love that. I love that. Beautiful. Thank you so much. And then Sam Ryan and Matt, what would you say is the benefit of working? Obviously, yourselves, you're a family run business with 40 years of experience. But what would you say is the benefit of working with our team for maybe a new agent who potentially is fresh out of training, hasn't had it got any websites, maybe isn't compliant yet? What would you say the benefit of working with sourcing investments would be for them? I think as a new agent, it's absolutely fantastic. We were very similar in this boat. And it's they really do take your hand and guide you through that process, helping you set up all them like pages, as you say, helping you when you're stacking a deal to make sure you're stacking it correctly uh, and making sure as well that uh, the end goal is obviously to sell a deal. And that obviously uh, is fantastic that they've got a great um, range of investors that then you can put your deal to and hopefully um, they'll enjoy what you have to offer and purchase it. Beautiful. Thank you so much. So I'm just going to check the chat box uh, for any final questions coming through. Um, Barry says, have you got any agents in London? I think that's to us. Yes, we do, Barry. If you register to the platform um, as an investor, I will just include the link now for you. If you will register uh, to the platform, you'll be able to see all of our agents uh, that are present there uh, through their agency windows. There's the link there. Feel free to join. It's uh, sourcinginvestments.co.uk investor dash registration. Once you register, uh, you'll be able to see all the properties in the agent's windows. And then from there, you'll be able to contact them independently, which takes me nicely on to the fact that I will be showing you all now how to get in touch with 
um, both agencies. Uh, you know, I'm doing so much better with my tech abilities. Just bear with me, though. It's still coming towards the end of the show. <laughs> One second. Um, okay, here we go. So I'm going to show you how to contact each agent. It's very, very simple. So this is uh, David's uh, page here at Macalgo Services. So this is his website here within the platform. And let me just move this little box there because I can't see what I'm doing. And so you've got the live chat button here. So it's so, so simple. You click on the button and it lets you know as an investor that you're about to start a direct conversation. Do you wish to continue? And you would press proceed. David, you're going to get an alert that I've contacted you. OK, so you would click the proceed and then it will take you to the um, to the chat box. And there you can see I've started a conversation with uh, with David. So also with regard, and then you would just literally type in your message here in, in the, um, the chat box here with direct conversations, and you'll be able to talk directly with David himself. So, and then for SJC property developments, it's exactly the same thing. You will have registered to the landing, uh, to the, um, the platform. So you register to the platform, um, and then you will find, whenever you click on a property, you'll be able to communicate with the agent, um, so if you were here on SJC Prop uh, De uh, Developments Limited, apologies, SJC Property Developments Limited, again, you would click on the live chat button. Uh, gents, apologies, because this will um, highlight a chat with me. So then you would click proceed and then that will take you through to uh, Sam. OK. And again, then you would start your conversation with Sam and it would be exactly the same. So. I hope that helps. It is very, very simple. So use the URL link to register as an investor, uh, join the platform. And then from there, everything is, is so simple, I promise you. Um, William has said, I can't register. I've been contacting the support team. I do apologize, William. If you email me specifically, bonnie at sourcinginvestments.co.uk. That's bonnie with uh, uh, double N-I-E. So B-O-N-N-I-E. Um, no Y for me. There's no Ys in my world. So if you can email me at bonnie at uh, sourcinginvestments.co.uk, I'll be able to help you out with that. I'm not sure what's going on, and I do apologise that you can't get in. Usually this link, well, I know, I know this link works. So follow the link, please, people, and then um, I look forward to hearing from you again. Anybody watching this on replay, obviously you won't be able to add your questions to the chat box, so feel free to email us at admin at sourcinginvestments.co.uk. Okay, um, just check in for any more Q&A. No, we're all good. Um, William, yeah, all right, perfect. Thank you so much. I'll look forward to seeing your email, William. Okay, everyone, I would love to thank David, Sam, Ryan, and Matt for their awesome presentations and the wonderful deals that they have on board. Investors present, thank you so much. We've had so many people attend today live. I thank you all. Apologies if I haven't mentioned your names independently. Um, feel free to reach out to us on social media, whether it be Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, any of those, or even independently through our email. So bonnie at sourcinginvestments.co.uk or admin at sourcinginvestments.co.uk with any questions that you may have. Uh, do you mind to share your email here, please? Yes, William, bear with me one second. It's bonnie at, can you hear me all typing? sourcinginvestments.co.uk. Okay, perfect. I'll keep an eye out for you, uh, for your email, William. Um, thank you everyone for registering. I really uh, registering and, and being present for this live and for all of those who watch on the replay, happy to hear your questions from that as well. David, Sam, Matt and Ryan, it's been an absolute pleasure. You See you much. again soon. Thank it you. Bye. 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 Bye.